Alright, this is my um, track and fruit tree. Okay, so they are going about two and a half to three feet apart, which is a little bit close. So if you plan to grow dragon fruit in um, plants in the future, you want to spread them up like four to five feet apart. So they do take a lot of space. Now the bottom is not bad, you get the spacing, but Right on the top and it branches out. Look at that. It get all push up. There's not enough room for them. So when there's not enough room, they're fighting for space. They're fighting for um, the sun. So they do not want to produce fruit in, when, when that's the case. And it starts to grow a lot of, you keep on branching out a lot of little small ones here. See? that and a whole bunch of here this one this one on the top you can see that so I need to cut them out I will cut them out so and lessen some of the, the branches up there so it can produce flowers and eventually produce um, become fruits okay now this is one of the fruits the dragon fruits so to see you see this whole bunch here there's only a couple fruits this is one of them. It produces flowers and eventually just becomes that fruit. And this probably has way to go. It can get as big as a pound or over a pound. And depending on how you take care of it, it can get as big as almost two pounds um, per fruit. So, and you can find these in the supermarket. They sell them uh, mostly in Asian supermarket. They uh, Last time I seen them, they're like four dollar, five dollars a pound, four ninety nine a pound. So they they get kind of pricey. Um, like I told you, see these are green, fresh. This one, I need to cut them out. See these, either cut them out or cut the branch and regrow them. So the thing about the dragon fruit, it's it's um, a plant. It's easy to grow. You just pretty much cut the cut the branch out. Like for example, let's say if you were to cut the branch over here, you can put this section here, bury it under soil, and eventually the roots growing out from from that stem. And then see, how, so look at this one. See how the fruit, the the the, the, the roots just grow out like that. If I cut this apart here and I bury that, these will just grows out okay so it's easy to grow um, uh, the dragon fruit plants like I said it's easy to grow the plants that doesn't mean it's easy to get the, to uh, produce the fruit so you have to um, have your technique and um, to produce a lot of uh, dragon fruits and the soil, you know, the soil, you want to keep the soil moist because these are not like regular cactus that they do not need a lot of water. These things need more water because they grow in tropical, tropical place. So it like moisture and it like the soil to be soaked. And if you have bird droppings, um, chicken droppings and all that, they like that. That's more of their food source beside the sun. Okay, so that's a brief things on um, dragon fruit. Oh, by the way, this dragon fruit, once it's ripe, when I cut the the fruit open, the flesh on this particular one it's uh, pink colors. It has a pink flesh. And also I have the other, on the other side, which is more um, dragon fruit tree. Um, it hasn't had any flower yet. So this one has the white flesh fruit. 
So I will update you guys on that when the fruit is uh, ready. Okay, and you can see uh, my pomegranate tree. My pomegranate tree. A lot of fruits. Every year has a lot of fruits. Look at that. Oh, wow. See? Beautiful, huh? Look at that, huh?